Yeah, it's, it's shut down there, yeah. <laughs> Remember they used to have the TVs on with the games? They used to have... Yeah, like, fam. In, the window, in the window, yeah, you could see it. <laughs> you just stand there outside the shopping centre, like, just watching the games. Yeah, and I remember seeing 3-0. And as I walked back past, I was like, right, it's 5-3. What happened? <laughs> Mate, and I was watching the game that night. I was like, oh, my days. Didn't Beckham score a screamer in that game? Was it Beckham? Be- Bex a- done a mad thing. I remember holding that 5-3 game. I swear that was when Varon was playing for us, that, that game. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Bro, we sm- I think it was. 5-3. Yeah, Beckham did score. I think he, he might have scored yeah. more than one. Yeah, I think Beckham got a decent goal in that game. It might not be, but I know yeah. he definitely scored in that game. <laughs> But yeah, I, did, I didn't know Toby had a twin. So crazy. And he picked the right club. Yeah, he picked the right club because Toby's supporting supporting Spurs and his twin supports Arsenal. I mean, how's that even been allowed to happen? <laughs> I didn't even know that. I didn't even know he had a twin until <clears throat> I was his Instagram post. Yeah, and I was like, am I seeing right? Bro, I was so confused. Yeah, I had to, I had to look at it for about five minutes to realise it weren't Toby. It was like, because he's slight different facial features yeah right but i was like has he cropped himself in an arsenal shirt as well right. i was like why would you do that yeah it was mad i texted him i was like, i didn't know you had a twin he goes yeah, yeah. he goes we used to do content together i was like wow <laughs> mad thing yeah crazy and his twin supports arsenal they were stood outside the emirates together doing a video oh mad. geez man how the fuck did that happen it's mad isn't it yeah mate like big up to his brother though he picked the right club <laughs> no, I hear that. I don't. I, I don't know, bro. That's mad. Mm. Imagine, imagine. Like, I know you and your brother support different teams, but imagine yeah. you supported Arsenal and he supported Spurs. Like, how's that allowed to run? Yeah, that could have run in my house, still. It could have. Mm. The, the thing is, like, obviously, like you live in London, you grew up in London, and that, yeah. Mm. Right? But now, let's say you're in Toby's household. Obviously, somewhere along the line, there's Tottenham, and somewhere along the line, there's Arsenal. Who has infiltrated Toby into being a Tottenham fan instead of a Guna? Because really, he's a secret Guna. I don't care what anyone says. Toby's a Guna. <laughs> <laughs> he can plug it as much as he wants. Do you know what it is? Yeah. I don't know which one was born first, but maybe Tobes was the youngest, so he got forced into supporting Spurs. I don't know. Maybe it's that. I'm going to have to ask him. <laughs> maybe it's, no, you were one minute later than me, so you're supporting Spurs. That's to pick it out the hat or something. That's the forfeit, know. you know. No. <laughs> I said the Spurs was the forfeit. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, it's crazy. No, that's it's fucked, man. Mad. But yeah, yeah I don't know about I don't know about Spurs. Didn't to pick Tottenham though as a kid. I know your brother supports them as well. It's like what made you? Yeah, choose? but that's because my mum supports them in it, and my mum's brother supports United. So I got the I got the long straw. He got the short one, bro. <laughs> that, that, yeah, you've seen it all. He's <laughs> that, seen you've seen it all. <laughs> yeah, so like it's one of them ones, bro. Like I just remember going up cooking Tottenham like every single season, bro. I remember when we beat Spurs 5 3 as well, and we were 3 0 down at half time. Yeah, that was bro. Mad. <laughs> what a game, bro. And I just remember in my house, yeah, 3 0 down, they were giving it the big one, bro. I couldn't, <laughs> I was stressed. I was sitting in my yard, stressed, bro. Second half, absolute destruction, bro. Oh my days. The house that has was... never been so quiet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's that was it's never been so quiet. It is prime, mate. I remember that game. Yeah, I was walking around the shopping yeah. center. You know, um, you know the shop Dixons. Yeah, it's, it's shop down there. Yeah, <laughs> remember they used to have the TVs on with the games. They used to have yeah, fam, in, the window, in the window. Yeah, you could see it. <laughs> you just stand there outside the shopping center, like just watching the games. Yeah, and I remember seeing three nil. And as I walked back past, I was like, "Right, it's five three. What happened?" <laughs> Mate, and I was watching the game that night. I was like, "Oh my days!" Didn't Beckham score a screamer in that game? Was it Beckham? Be- Bex a- done a mad thing. I remember holding that 5 3 game. I swear that was when Varon was playing for us that, that game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Bro, sm- think it was. 5 3. Yeah, Beckham did score. I think he, he might have scored more yeah. than one. Yeah, I think Beckham got a decent goal in that game. Might not be, but I know yeah. he definitely scored in that game. Yeah, mate. <laughs> that, that, that was mad. But that was Fergie. That was prime Fergie, innit? And that was the history of the Tottenham. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, yeah. 3 0 up and you fucked it up. <laughs> How can you go through <laughs> last time and then lose five three? Like, what are you yeah. doing? And they start walking around like they're fucking king of the hill. I, I jog on, yeah, get in the bin. They've always been the banter club. Everywhere they go around Europe, they get they get beaten up. Like literally everywhere. That like, on the pitch, off the pitch, they just get slapped everywhere they go. 
Like they're just a laughing stock. To anyone outside, anyone outside of Tottenham fans, don't rate Tottenham anywhere in the world. Mm. Yeah, but people That's outside fair. of Arsenal will rate Arsenal. People outside of United will rate United. Nobody rates that football club apart from their fans, and half of their fans have been bullied into supporting them. Uh, do you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't by choice. Exactly. Yeah, it's mad. Like Arsenal, nah. you, like you, we, and, our, and Man United, like you get you get fans from around the globe that have gone right. I support Arsenal because they went invincible, or they done a double in 02, or they did this in '98, or they they won the the cup in '94, or like the Cup Winners' Cup, or they went and won at Anfield or whatever. And then it's been passed down generation with other people. Yeah. What yeah, have they got to look forward to, bro? How have they come to be a Tottenham fan? Because they don't win anything. So it's not like, oh, in that year, Tottenham won this. So I, I wanted to support them. You could have picked Man mm. United because every year they used to win something. <laughs> it's not mean. Like, no, you no, could have picked no. Arsenal because they win, win quite a lot. You could have picked Chelsea because they were winning quite a lot. What made you support Tottenham? They've been bullied into no. it, bro. That's the only explanation. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to wake up like if you're in school, you know this from when you picked United. Yeah, you obviously you've got family ties and that. Yeah, when I was at school, yeah. it was all Liverpool and Man United. I was like, I want Arsenal, I'm Arsenal, mate. We're supporting Arsenal. Yeah, when I was and... at school, it was Arsenal and United fans everywhere. I didn't know any Tottenham fans at school, I didn't know any even Chelsea they fans at school. They didn't exist, I didn't even bro. know Chelsea fans at school, bruv. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah, was only true. Arsenal and Man United fans at school. Like I don't literally don't remember another club. Like not mm. not Liverpool, not no one. It was just Arsenal, Man United. Mm. See, that's the thing. Like when I'm I'm what ten above you, eight above you, sounded like that. Yeah. So like school, yeah. Liverpool. It was the decline of Liverpool, but they weren't letting go of that. They were still thinking they were good. <clears throat> yeah, they were still thinking they were great back then. Yeah, and mm. um, and then Man United come on the scene. Well, they didn't come on the scene. They're always good, but they were up and down. United, but then they got that consistency. Yeah, and they just went whoosh all the way through secondary school. It was Arsenal and Man United. Liverpool were nowhere to be seen. I never see a Tottenham fan in school ever. You see the odd Chelsea fan, but they were quiet. They didn't say nothing. They were just like, mm. oh, we're happy to get to a cup final and lose. Yeah, we're happy to get to a semi. Yeah, you never see a Tottenham fan. Now, like, you know, I see Tottenham supporters clubs in, in America. Like, what made you support Tottenham out of all the clubs? Like, real talk. No, they probably were from England and they migrated over to America. I doubt they chose Tottenham in it. It was probably yeah, no, they bullied all the other people in that area to support that team. Like it's wrong, bro. It's bullying. <laughs> like, they, they should be cuffed up for that. Like some of the laws in America are crazy, but come on, bullying's bullying. Like there's no need to support mm. that club. They're dead. Like... No, fair. No, that's, but that's the one thing is it, it, it can only have been passed down from generation to generation with that law because it can't be off. No, 100%. With you yeah, hundred percent. It's oh, we supported in '99 because they won a treble, yeah, or '98 because Arsenal won a double. They ain't got that history, so yeah, it's bullying. Yeah, it's a form of bullying. Yeah, that like every Spurs fan needs to needs to revoke revoke their Spurs status, real talk, and and go and go and confront the bully. 